Hey everyone, in this video we are going to build a fun flashlight effect using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As you move your mouse or finger, a light follows your movement across the screen. Along the way, you will learn how to track mouse and touch positions, update CSS variables and JavaScript, and handle events in real time. Let's jump in and build this step by step. Let's begin with HTML. Inside the body tag, we have a div with ID flashlight. This is the element we will style to create a moving flashlight effect. Below that, there are two paragraph tags filled with dummy text. They give the page some scrollable content so we can clearly see the flashlight effect in action as we move around. That's it for the HTML. It's simple layout that gives us nice base to build the visual effect with CSS and JavaScript. Let's walk through CSS that brings this flashlight effect to life. We begin with the global reset by targeting the universal selector. We remove all the default margin and padding and apply box sizing to border box. This makes our layout calculations more predictable by including padding and borders in an element's total width and height. We also hide the default mouse cursor by setting cursor to none. This is the key part of illusion. It makes our custom flashlight effect feel more immersive since the regular pointer doesn't get in the way. The paragraph tags which contain our sample content are styled for readability. We use standards, font size, justify the content and apply generous line spacing and padding. This makes scrolling experience smooth and helps us better visualize the effect. Now the real magic happens inside the flashlight kind element. We define two custom CSS property, xpos and ypos that will later hold the x and y coordinates of the mouse. These values are initially set to the center of the screen using 50vh and 50vw just to avoid any empty state when the page loads. Then comes the powerful part, the before studio element. This acts like a virtual overlay that co covers the entire screen. We make it take up full width and height and absolutely position it to stay fixed on the top of everything. It has no interaction thanks to pointer events then, meaning it won't block clicks or hovers below it. For the background of this overlay, we use a radial gradient. The gradient is drawn as a circle centered at the cursor position using custom properties xpos and ypos. It starts with full transparency at center and gradually darkens to the black on the outside. This gives the illusion of a light beam piercing through the darkness, just like flashlight moving across the screen. Finally, we add media query. If the screen width is 500 pixels or less, we reduce the font size slightly. This ensures better readability and responsiveness on mobile or smaller screens. Let's now understand JavaScript that powers the movement of our flashlight. We start by creating two variables, mousex and mouseY, to store the current position of the user's cursor or fingers on the screen. 
then we grab a reference to the flashlight element using get element by id To make this work on both desktop and mobile, we create a helper function called isTouchDevice. It tries to create a touch event and if that succeeds, we know we are on touch enabled device. This check ensures we can handle both mouse and touch inputs without writing a separate logic for each. Now comes the heart of the interaction, the get mouse position function. This function is called whenever the mouse moves or the screen is touched and dragged. Inside it, we check whether the user is on touch device. If not, we get the X and Y position from the mouse core event. If it is a touch device, we get the coordinates from the first touch point using E touches uh, 0. Once we have the x and y values, we update the CSS custom properties xpos and ypos on the flashlight element using style.set property. These updated values are then used in our CSS to move the center of gradient. Finally, we hook this function into two event listeners, one for mouse move and one for touch move. This means the flashlight will track your movement whether you are using a mouse or touch screen. As you move around the screen, the radial gradient follows you in the real time. So the JavaScript is simple, efficient and purely focused on tracking user input and updating the gradient position dynamically. It works hand in hand with CSS to create a cool and responsive flashlight effect. And that's it. We have built a smooth flashlight effect using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You saw how easy it is to track user movement and upright styles dynamically. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas for the next project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.